The North American premiere of Andrew Lloyd Webber's Love Never Dies, the sequel to The Phantom of the Opera, is currently touring across the country. Led by award-winning opera stars Gardar Thor Cortez as The Phantom and Megan Paterno as Christine Daae, Love Never Dies picks up 10 years after the events of Lloyd Webber's seminal musical and finds the masked man running Phantasma, a vaudeville theater on Coney Island, while Christine is now a famous opera singer in Europe, married to Raoul, and mother to a young son. But when Christine comes to America to perform, news of her arrival reaches the Phantom, who quickly lures her to Phantasma, where the scene is set for high drama, grand music, and extravagant entertainment. Paterno and Cortez sat down to talk with each other about playing Lloyd Webber's legendary star-crossed lovers, what thrills them most about catching up with these characters all these years later, and why the Phantom and Christine's dazzling but doomed love will never die. So, Megan. I've been dying to ask you this for a long time. Tell me, Gardner. What does it feel to be playing Christine? What does it feel like? I don't know. Do you feel this way? Like, when, when I'm on stage, I'm, I am that person. Oh, yeah. I love it. It's Do really you? enjoyable. It's very difficult, but very, very nice and very uh, f f um, filling. You know, it, it gives you a lot, or gives me a lot. Um, Why? Because the character is so complex, many-layered and interesting. Seeing this story, yeah. they could be separate. I mean, I thought it was interesting when they sent us to see Phantom of the Opera, yeah. after already knowing this story, to see where our characters came from. Yeah. I think that was really, it was really neat. It was it cool is. and, it is. and um, exciting for fans then that did grow up. On Phantom? Yeah, yeah, because then they find out what happens to all of us. I know, it is a sequel. It is, I yeah. mean, it is Phantom 2. Yeah. Uh, Love Never Dies. But it can be separate, I think. It can. I, I think mean, it can. I mean, it can. If you haven't seen, you don't have to have seen Phantom no. of the Opera no, to no, see no. Love Never Dies. I so enjoy this 10 year gap that has happened mm. and seeing um, how, how the people have changed, like people do. Live more you know, life. Live more life. Some become bitter, some don't. Some become kinder, some become weaker, some become stronger. I also like the idea of in any sequel, how they pick one moment in time that they're, we're finding these characters again. Yeah. So for me, the fact that it has to have all these, all these different circumstances so that they're all brought together once mm -hmm. again, uh, I think that's an interesting part yeah. of the story. Finding 10 years of experience, what happened to her? 10 years mm. is a really long time. Yeah. Speaking from personal experience, yeah. I'm not the same person I was at age 20, mm -hmm. thank God. Um, I was cooler at 20, but that's okay. <laughs> really, though? I, I know, I'm cool now, so that's fine. <laughs> no, but um, I, I think it's really interesting as a woman, how does she mature uh, regardless of time? I know it's at the turn of the century, so there would be different rules and different stipulations of what a woman can and cannot do, but I think a woman is a woman, and all the things that she's gone through. She's not a child anymore, mm. and I think being a mother really alters her as well because mm -hmm. um, she has other responsibilities aside from just to herself. Yeah. And how does she deal with marriage, a marriage that's not going so well, a career that's taken off, mm -hmm. you know, being famous, being successful. And I think it's juicy. I think like, yeah, very. you know what I mean? Like yeah. I, I feel, I don't know if you feel this way about Phantom, but in this sequel to Phantom, I mm. think that we can really dive into the character work. Oh, so, yeah, I so Do you know agree. what I mean? Like, there's I so, so many layers. He says himself in the show, he's not as strong. I mm. don't know if he means physically or mentally. Um, that's something to, to explore. But he's been pining for her for 10 years, doesn't stop thinking about her. And, well, and she obviously doesn't stop thinking about him. Obviously. For lots of reasons. Exactly. <laughs> he's more at home there than he ever, in, in, on Coney Island than he ever was in Paris, because here he can walk amongst the people. Uh, because everyone's strange, different freaks and, and, and peculiar people. That's one thing that really struck me about our show is the opening of the show, how insane and crazy it is with yeah. all the different yeah. freaks it and circus. It sets the tone of where he has lived yes. for the last yes. 10 years, You're right. what it's like, mm -hmm. and he's, he's more freer in that sense. But then when the boat comes and Raul and mm -hmm. Christine and everything, it's such a contrast. I know. It's an, it's yeah. pretty incredible. I know. It's, a, it's a very strong opening. It's a stark contrast. Yeah. The love between Phantom and Christine is one of those primal loves. Mm. I think you, I think we've all felt it. Yeah, I would. It's it's moths drawn to a flame. You, both of them 
can't live without the other one for yeah. many reasons. And so when that type of person is in your life and in your sphere, your peripheral vision or right in front of you, I don't think you have a choice. It completely overtakes you. <laughs> and what's interesting is, you know, in the first Phantom and even here, like the dressing room scene, he has this power over her, but it's, it's mutual. They have a power over each other. Oh, definitely. Oh, yes, yes, yes. They, yes. they cannot live without each other. I know. And so the moment they're thrown back into each other's lives, it, this intense passion and love, they Ignites can't get away them. from it. I, yeah. Do you think it's um, stronger now, the, the, the love, the passion, than it was? Yeah, I do. But I mean, it was so strong in Phantom of the Opera. It is so strong there. But that's the beginnings of it. I know, I'm just, yeah. So it's the beginnings of it. And then they had 10 years to constantly think about it, yeah. fantasize about it, miss it, mm -hmm. hate it, love because it. Because it can either die or grow. I mean, it's love the, never it, dies. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And in this case, it, it's, it's, I think it's grown you know, tenfold. Uh, uh, well, and again, though, but I, I think, I don't know, have you ever in your personal life, like when you meet someone that's like that, you have no choice. Mm -hmm. You're completely overtaken. Yeah, yeah. So you hate them, you love them, you hate that you love them, you yes. love that you hate them, you don't, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like you're completely yeah. overwhelmed. Yeah. And so it's 10 years of pent up passion yeah. that suddenly is unleashed and you get to feel it again for the first time. It's confusing, it's amazing, it's awful, it's wonderful. Yeah. I think this is Andrew's best score. I mean, oh, same. Yeah, I think it's the most romantic and the most beautiful. Yeah, um, without a doubt. Yeah, he's he's so good at writing melodies, and uh, they they catch you. That you Immediately, you just, yeah. like the moment the orchestra begins for me, I'm swept up into this new world. I know. And I know both of us are constantly singing everyone else's songs. They yeah, get oh just yeah. stuck in your know, head. They're so beautiful. The, f the first, what was the first um, song you, or piece that you heard from this musical? Do you remember? Mine was Till I Hear You Sing, that's the first da -dee piece. Da -da -da. Yeah. Let hopes pass, the dreams pass, let them die. Without you, what are they for? I'll always feel no more than halfway real. Till I hear you sing. First time I heard that, the Phantom's uh, main song, um, I, I, was, I, was, I, I mean, it's stunning. Yeah, it was amazing. You know, for me, I always, I always it's have so lush. It's everything is lush. so lush. Uh, That's it, such a good yeah. word for it. It's, yeah. it's so full it's and full. romantic. I know the orchestration. It's just, it's, it's very operatic, quite frankly. It is. I think. It is. I mean, it's, it's the or oh, the first it's probe we ever had with the orchestra. <gasps> oh yeah. Oh my gosh, it I was know. beautiful. It was lovely. The the music is stunning. It sets a foundation because he's so particular about how emotional the music is. So mm -hmm. for me, I feel immediately some groundwork has been done for me because, oh, yeah, yeah. you know, you have this underscoring that sets the tone yeah. and it's beautiful. Mm -hmm.